What's crackling, lady, fam? What's crackling, lady, fam? It's your boy, Unk, no punk. Unk, no punk, a little short one just for you, fam. This one's gonna be about, um, children inside the juvenile system. And also the young brothers out there that's getting locked up, no early, like 21 or under, and things like that, right? I just watched the film. It was a brother Q-tip from the um, Tribe Called Quest. I haven't seen much movies this guy because I don't watch TV a lot, you know. And I saw a film on him. It's called um, Prison Song. It was made in 2001. Prison Song. I think Mary J. Blige was inside it too, right? And um, inside this facility that the young brothers was in, um, Q-tip had a childhood friend they knew on the streets. Right, and this childhood friend was his buddy, a close friend of his, right? And um, since he'd been locked at maybe 14 years old, he had never had no experience with um, a young girl his age. He never had that, he never had no kisses, the first kiss or whatever, things like that. He's been locked up, right? So um, I guess he felt that um, he needs some affection. He wants some, he wants to feel some compassion. He want to hold somebody, you know? He want to do that there. And all of a sudden, but he put his brother's feelings out to his homeboy Q-tip. As they sit in the bed, they sit there, they talk close. He's like, you know, get real close to him and then try to kiss him. Try to kiss homeboy. Q-tip like, hey, what you doing? Hey, what you doing, man? No, no, right? And then the young man explained to him. He said, you've been on the streets these years. You done had a girlfriend and things like that. He said, but I, I've been locked up here since I was, you know, 14, 15 years old, whatever it is, and I never had no experiences with a woman. Never had no experience with a woman. You know what I'm saying? That's what we want. But since there's no woman, the substitute will have to be a man or another young young boy. You know what I'm saying? Made me think of all these little young brothers out there inside these juvenile halls throughout the world, you know, from back in the days we was young, Bronx Farfit, or whatever, whatever kind of juvenile the facility they have throughout the, um, the nation. These young brothers inside there, they're left alone, you know what I'm saying? And 99.9% .9 of them do not have no father. Right, so we look at these old facilities there, you saw these young brothers inside there with little military uniforms, with these little uniforms, they're doing drills, whatever it is. What is, what, what is that saying? What is that reflection of? Huh? That's a reflection of the black man in America has failed his children. He has failed, he's a failure. Yeah, don't get mad, God damn right, I'm just gonna call it how it is. You know how it is, it's not a black thing or a white thing. When it comes to Uncle Punk, it's the right thing. You know what I'm saying, most definitely, you know? These kids don't have nobody, right? So they need affection in these, right? So it made me think about, um, there's a brother, Fleece Johnson. There's a child called him the Booty Warrior, and a whole bunch of things like that, there, right? So now since I see some videos saying that, um, I'm not the Booty Warrior, I didn't rape nobody, I have no charge, things like that. But when I did the interview, he was saying, no, um, you have to take it, have, you have the easy way or the hard way. He's making it seem like he was, but he said he, he really was. He just said that because he wanted to um, give a little shot value out there to the children out there, you know, trying to deter him away from prison, right? He said he thought he would never get out of this place. Never get out of this place. The man been locked up since 15 years old. You know, 15 years old, this man. He's um 65 years old now. That's 40 years inside of prison, fam. You listen to his interview, it's like it's, it's it's heartbreaking, you know what I'm saying? Fans like, damn, because like he didn't have no father and things like that, you know. Somebody made him um, deter him away, put him on the right path so they won't have to end up inside these places then. It's all throughout America, fam. You know what I'm saying? These young boys come in 15, 6 years old inside these prisons, and you got predators trying to um, trying to rape them. You know, trying to molest them, trying to touch them, trying to take advantage of them, extort them, do everything to them, you know what I'm saying? But most of the kids have fathers in the house. That wouldn't happen. You know what I'm saying? They even have a strict father like um was James Evans, John Amos, brother John Amos. I think I think he's sick now too. But put your prayers too for John Amos. You heard the ICU, I heard that sound that fact, you know what I'm saying? But um we have more fathers like that neighborhood. We have we have less um of our young brothers locked up inside the jails. Yeah, locked up inside jails who become slaves to the system. Who become slaves to the system. They want you to come in and out these goddamn doors and work and make license plates or work in these things or come to these private prisons, these private plantations that they're doing now. Slavery still exists, fam. Don't, don't get it twisted. You know, they want you to come back. That's why you look at this um, 
Um, what is other shit? This YSL Rico case there with Young Thug out there in um, Atlanta. They give these young dumb, these are young dumb thugs 15 year probations. And they like, yeah, yeah, young guy, this here, but I take 15 year probation. I was like, some of you little dumb fools, you just stood there just um, fought the case. Because you know, you're going to do something and you're going to come back. I hear his brother called Umfunk, some idiot named Umfunk, his brother there. He's got to do 10 years. He got busted on, um, on some parole show. Like, um, he was on parole, got caught with a weapon out or something like that. Then. So he's getting locked up. Same with the rest. They know they're going to do is they can't stay um, clean for 15 years. They will give back to the system. You know, they want you inside there. But when we look at Fuse Johnson, his, his situation is so sad. This one's like, man, I say, no, if he got some kind of GoFundMe or um, a cash app, things like that. You know, if you listen to me, please, no, go cash app out there. Do something there. The people try to send those some donations out there to your brother. You know what I'm saying? He need a little help. You know what I'm saying? He actually need a little help. He done been through the ringer. The ringer, right? I was just story cut message with a guy. They told about him. Um, they took away the cigarettes inside the prisons because someone escaped there and they killed some old per old people in Tennessee. So they took their cigarettes. He break it down how much he can make off cigarettes. He took one cigarette, broke it down like that, that like fifty, fifty. I'm like, who who would spend this much money for a little guy in the back door? You must be a real fiend out there, fam. But anyway, but how he got inside the prison was like, God damn. Okay, they got to say, um. Uh, he messed with them. He said, Missy said he, he messed with the boys. You know, he said he kissed on. He would say he sucks on the on the boys' nipples. Try for their girls. I was like, God damn, that's sad there, fam. <laughs> that's sad there. For another man to suck on some 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 um, some punk nipples. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for what? Uh, right. But anyway, how he got the cigarettes aside to the other prison, he said he took a 16-ounce bottle. I got a little bottle, this bit, this name is 16 ounce. This is this bottle, I don't know. Six times we're gonna be bigger than six times we're bigger than this year, right? He said filled up with tobacco, tobacco, stuff it in there, right? Take some lube, whatever it is, and takes this whole goddamn bottle and shoves up his anus. Shoves up his anus. I was like, huh? How can you do that? Is this, is this that possible? He said, yeah, he 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 did it. Now I tell you like this here, you know, false fleece Johnson, you know, saying him messing with dudes. And, Mess with dudes there. If you're sticking 16 ounce bottles up your up your rectum, you must be getting served too. You must be getting bent over too, please. I haven't heard that nothing come out your mouth yet. You know what I'm saying? But if you are doing shit like that, there, you must have been um must have been both ways with the dudes there with the, with the, with the, with the prison boys. You know what I'm saying? It had to be for you to step for a 16 ounce bottle in your butt for a three hour, you know, he said a 300, a 300 mile drive. So we we'll we we'll, 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 we'll get that four hours. You know, they speed inside of goddamn little prison vans. Four hours of a bottle of butt cheeks. Some sad stuff there, fam. You know, the torture and things they're doing to our brothers and sisters out there inside this prison that no one knows about. You know, chaining them up to the goddamn beds butt naked. He said, on uh, they put a, a, whole, a whole can of mace in his butt. A can of mace, fam. <laughs> uh, a can. Can. Talk about this can in your butt. They put the whole can in that damn butt. It burns the insides out. Torture, torture, torture. Things that these, these, um, these devils doing to our brothers behind the G wall. No, no one knows about it. No one knows about it. You know what I'm saying? But from child to adulthood, if the father was inside these houses, there. They wouldn't have been there. They wouldn't have been there. So therefore, this uh, little shortville is not. It's, it's about fleece. Yes, it's about the situation. I move with Q-tip. How you, these young young brothers are coming inside these systems here. And they they come with age of puberty. You know where they, they get horny and now they're around us. But but dudes, you know, dudes they sentence. This this just their lifestyle. So therefore, if that little young brother start going around and. Get affectionate with some other dude there. Is he wrong? Is it right? Or is it just something that just happens? You know, say, can you blame this little young kid for wanting some affection? I don't know. I can't raise that up this kind of situation like that. Thank God. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's real sad because I've been mean, just watching that movie. May think of how many other how these little people out there. You know, because you could sit there and watch these on videos, these guys who were locked up for 20 years, 30 years, and, and all the stuff like that. Then, um, 
They never meant for them to mess with um, other men inside these places here. But we know what happens. We're not saying this back like the 80s when people getting, you know, violated. People right now, they giving up. You know, just ask them, please, can you give me a little hint, little sissy? And maybe he'll do it to you, you know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll relieve you. But it's a sad day, you know, to watch all our little young brothers out there inside these goddamn juvenile homes, you know what I'm saying? And um, then they get no visits, no one caring for them. They got no father there to them. Um, even give some kind of hope, you know what I'm saying? There's no daddy here, so the, the feel most about the black man, you know? You need to keep your ass in the goddamn house and take your goddamn kids, you know, be inside these kids' lives, especially them goddamn boys, be inside their lives, keep them away, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, you're gonna become a slave. You want your child to be a slave inside some system there, they're just working, working, working behind a G-War somewhere, these racist guards doing things to them, beating them. You got some places out there, you know, these um, juvenile homes, even prisons is there where the guards are even raping the inmates, fam. You know, so raping the inmates. This is nothing new. You know, saying you're old head like me, you turn the movie on the miseducation of Sonny Carson, and I um, I would advise every black man to watch this movie. Even sisters too. You know, the miseducation of Sonny Carson. It was um made they about seventy six something like that. Was a little kid there, you know, seventy six. Check that movie out there, fam. So there's. But it's doing to young brothers out there inside them juvenile homes, these people there, huh? This happened now today. It's happening today. So if you don't want your child to be abused by these, these devils out there, you know what I'm saying, or become a slave to the system, whatever, just join gangs and just, you know, just let their life just go down the drain, get into their lives, fam. Get into their lives. If you don't get into their lives, they'll become another goddamn Fleece Johnson fam. And I'm out. Peace.